from the home of the A's since 1968. A look at the O.Co. Coliseum in Oakland. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the New York Yankees and the West-leading Oakland A's. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, a.k.a. RBT, and welcome to some more Oakland A's franchise on MLB 15, the show as the A's host the New York Yankees as Brad Mills gets his first start as he was called up following the injury to Scott Casimir. He had a great year so far in AAA. Let's see how he can do in the majors. Top of the first inning, Jacoby Ellsbury up to bat. Hits a ground ball to Brett Lowry at second base. Over to first, and that will do it for the first inning. Also, Max Muncy, designated hitter, is making his major league debut today. Filling in for Billy Butler, who may be going to Tampa Bay in a big potential trade. Taking the mound for the Yankees is CC Subathi, who is struggling 1-3 on the year with a 5.56 ERA. Two outs, bottom of the first, runner on third base, Evan Gaddis hits the ball to third base and he will be thrown out. So a runner already stranded on third base to start the game. Bottom of the second inning, nobody on first pitch of the at-bat. That ball is hit deep into right field and it is off the wall. That is Brett Lowry to start off the bottom of the second inning with a stand-up double. Ike Davis now up to bat. 0-2 count with two outs, and he goes down swinging on an inside pitch and an awkward swing from the first baseman who's having a great year so far. Top of the third inning, Brett Gardner up to bat as he looks at strike three as Brad Mills has gone through three innings with no runs allowed. Bottom of the fourth inning, Evan Gattis up to bat. This ball is hit deep. If it stays fair, it is gone, and it is foul. The umpires get together, though to see what the call is, and it is indeed a foul ball. Evan Gaddis still has a chance to do some damage in this at-bat 1-1 one, one count. Ball is granted to Ben Zobris at second base, and Evan Gaddis will be out. Ben Zobris, if you already forgot, was traded early on in the season in a big trade to bring over Alex Rodriguez and Adam Warren as this ball is blooped into left field, and that will be fair. Brian McCann will get to second base on a blooper. And unfortunate there for Brad Mills, not a bad pitch, but sometimes everything just doesn't go your way. 0-2 count, this ball is lined up the middle. Brian McCann rounding third base, this ball is going to go to the cutoff man. And Chase Headley with some wise base running as he gets to second base. So a little bit of crazy play there. Now the bases are loaded, 1-2 count as Brad Mills gets Kelly Johnson swinging. So now one away, Gregorio Petit up to bat, 1-2 count. This ball is lined to the shortstop. Brock Holt touches second and throw over the first, and that is a double play. Great job from Brad Mills to get out of the no out and bases loaded jam. As through four and a half, we are scoreless. Bottom of the fifth inning, one out, one one count to Brock Holt. This pitch is hit deep into right center field, and this one hits off the wall. Brock Holt is going to have extra bases here. A one out double from Brock Holt with one out. And a runner in scoring position for the A's. Now two outs with Craig Gentry up to bat. First pitch from CC Sabathia of the at-bat. Gentry hits the fly ball deep right center field. And this one is going to be caught by Jacoby Ellsbury on the run. So another runner left in scoring position for the A's. Top of the sixth inning, 0-2 count. Man on second base, Alex Rodriguez over in foul ground to get the out. But... With the out, what in the world? Brad Mills hurt his hand on the play. Mills is going to have to go in for some further testing. Hopefully it's not too serious, but he is coming out the game. Another pitcher goes down for the A's as he was filling in for the injured Scott Casimir, but hopefully he'll be okay. In comes Jared Parker. Hopefully he gets a few innings of solid relief as Jacoby Ellsbury goes down swinging once again in this game. So now two out, 1-1 one, one count to Brian McCann. Pitch from Parker, and this ball is popped up into shallow left field. Craig Gentry under the fly ball and the A's escape a mini jam once again. Top of the seventh inning, 0-2 count runners on first and second base and down goes Gregorio Petit once again. So another jam avoided by the Oakland A's. 1-2 count bottom of the seventh inning, one out. Ike Davis up to bat. Pitch from CC Sabathia. This ball is lined into deep left field and that one gets over the wall. Ike Davis continues his home run tear. 
I like Ike for sure as the A's take a 1-0 lead with the opposite field home run from Ike Davis. What a shocker there. Top of the eighth inning, two outs runner from first goes to second base, and that is a stolen base, so another Yankee in scoring position. Brian McCain with a 2-2 count, and he goes down swinging Jared Parker. Once again, escapes a Yankee threat. Now moving into the bottom of the eighth inning, the Yankees go to the bullpen. Andrew Bailey, who is 0-1 on the year with a 4.26 ERA, two outs, one two count to Evan Gaddis. And he has a ugly swing there, an inside pitch as he goes down swinging. On to the ninth inning as the A's call on Sean Doolittle, who has been perfect up to this point. 0-2 count to the lefty Brian McCann. The pitch from Doolittle and Brian McCann goes down swinging. That's one away in the top of the ninth. 1-2 count to Chris Young. And he goes down swinging on the slider. Nasty pitch from Doolittle. Now to away. 0-2 count to Kelly Johnson. One pitch could do it. And he goes down swinging as Sean Doolittle strikes out the side as the A's win the nail biter one to nothing over the New York Yankees. Hardly any offense produced from either side today. The only offense produced by either team was an Ike Davis home run as Jared Parker does get the win as he went two and two thirds innings in relief, giving up no runs. CC Spathia gets a loss, his fourth of the year, going seven innings. Pretty good start from him, only giving up the one home run. And Max Muncy in his major league debut went hitless as Brad Mills somehow fractured his hand in that play. Will be out two to three months and will be sent to the 60-day DL. That means we have to bring up another pitcher from AAA, and that will be Drew Pomeranz. 5-1 on the year, the 2.56 ERA. See how he can do in the majors as the trade is now official. A's trade Billy Butler and Sam Fole to the Tampa Bay Rays for prospect Justin O'Connor, Brad Boxberger, and left fielder John Jay. So as you see, the new look Oakland A lineup. So here the A's are now 29-29 and on the year. And the next episode will feature a game at Fenway Park against the Boston Red Sox as the pitchers in that matchup will be Barry Zito and Wade Miley, both having pretty good seasons, two lefties on the year. As we see the lineup, how they're doing after the week, John Jaso doing awesome things, batting 292 with nine home runs. As Max Muncy is struggling, but Ike Davis up 13 home runs on the year. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. The more likes the video gets, the quicker the next episode will come out. Let me know what you thought about the episode in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.